Hello once again YouTube audience, I'm Orion Vlogs, and no, I'm not dead, I just have taken a few weeks off. So, not dead, as, as most of you are, are saying, I'm not. Shocking, I know. Anyhow, today we are going to do a vlog. Now, I have made no preparations, I have literally nothing to talk about. However, that doesn't stop other YouTubers, so why should I let it stop me? Right? Right. Anywho... Anywho... Um... I decided, hey... I'm, I'm deciding now. No, I have decided. Y you know what I mean. I've decided I'm gonna list off some things that I hate. <clears throat> Excuse me. That I hate about Facebook. And why, you may ask, am I doing this video? Well, because I already did one on YouTube, and I can't do one on YouTube again. Well, I mean, I could. But I don't want to. Okay, well, I do want to. But I'd be making the same points as last time. So, might as well tackle another thing people use daily. Next up, water. Yeah. Alright. First thing, and this is in no particular order. I'm probably going to go least to greatest. But, and if, if not, then no particular order. Number one, poking. What's its purpose? I mean, if it's to get somebody's attention, you could just message them and say, hey, I want to talk. Or maybe you're, maybe it's for those kind of people who are total extra introverts, which I know makes no sense because they're exact, op they're exact antonyms, but... Like those people who want who want the attention but don't want to be direct about it. Like someone, someone's just like, "Hey, how you doing? All right then, bye bye." Like they want a conversation but they're not going to put their all into it. Something like that. Anywho, that's one thing that pisses me off. I don't understand the point of poking, and I, uh, I don't think I ever will. I think they should just remove it. Because do you know anyone who really genuinely demands that in Facebook, like messaging? A wall to post shit, stupid shit on. Talking to your friends. Poking's not on that list. You shut up, Twilight. I love you, but you shut... No, you shut up. I love you. But you shut up. I'm trying to make a video. Anyway. But yeah, I don't, I don't think poking's a major thing of Facebook. And if it is... Why? Just because that's what it was. It, we started with and we kind of just accepted it? It's not okay. Anywho. Number two, people who, uh, this is more about the people of Facebook on this one, people who post the message along, something along these lines. Now, I'm paraphrasing, of course, if you know what, you'll know what I'm talking about once, once I let it out. Okay, so anyone who goes, my life is horrible, don't ask, or something like, worst day ever, I don't want to talk about it, look. If you didn't want to talk about it, and it really bugs you this much, and you don't feel like being social about it in any way, shape, or form, why the fuck you put it on Facebook, whose only purpose is to be a social networking platform? Shut up, Twilight. I love you. Hi. Hi. Say hi to the YouTube audience. Anyway, but yeah, why would you fucking do that if the entire point of Facebook is to share? God damn it, Twilight. Shut up, baby. I love you. I know. She's in heat. She wants a cat dick. Or cat vagina. I don't know. My cat, might, my cat might be lesbian. I don't fucking know. I don't care. Anyways, what I'm trying to get at is that you don't... If you want help, if you want attention... Then say something. Say, I'm having a really rough day. Can someone message me, you know, help me vent? Let me vent, rather. Or, you know, can someone help me deal with this? Not, I'm in a pissy mood. No one talk about it because I'm fishing for, you know, well, not compliments, because usually that's what that means, but fishing for attention, you know? Don't do that. If you're that person, stop being that person. Yeah, you. No, not you, you. Yeah, you, the thing with the hair on the face and the you. Yeah, you're a dick. Don't do that. Uh, number three. 
Did I say number 10 last time? I think I might have. No, I don't think so. Number three, stupid God quotes. Now, I'm not, when I say this, I'm not bashing anyone's religion. Practice whatever you like. Preach whatever you like. Freedom of religion, freedom of speech, so on and so forth. But if it's the only thing I'm seeing on my wall from you, or rather, let me par let me say that again in a different way. If it's the only thing you do is post inspirational pictures about how you're so thankful God helped you get through this morning, or so thankful you made it to work on time because God gave you the strength, I don't want to hear about it. Why? Well, besides my own personal beliefs, which I'm not, which I'm not going to get into because of I don't want my fucking YouTube channel taken down. I don't. I don't want to come to Facebook and feel like I'm going to church. I don't want to feel the power of God through a computer screen. If I wanted to feel the power of God, I'd read a Bible, or Allah, or, or whatever God, goddesses, man, man, woman, child, whatever you, whatever you worship. If I wanted to learn that, I'd go fucking Google it, or I'd watch a show about it. Or I'd read a book about it. Not watch you post stupid little fucking pictures on Facebook because you think people care. <sighs> Which is not to say atheists don't do the same thing. Atheists, Muslims, Christians, everyone does it. I know one of you at one point has put your religion out there and been like, Hey, this is what I believe. You don't believe it? Mm, well, you don't understand. Or you're just not saved. I get it. You know, people, religion, woo -hoo. People do weird things with religion, but some people, you know, genuinely believe in it. And you know what? If you want, if you're one of those believers, if you believe there is a higher power, or you don't, uh, whatever you believe in, if that's what you truly believe. The God speak to you. However, I don't want to see it every time. Every time I log in to Facebook. And you might be thinking, why did you unfriend those people? Well, because I genuinely care about those people and don't want to unfriend them. But they're dicks, so kind of at a crossroads here. Anyways, number four. Number four is more of a personal nitpick for me, and it's something that you don't see a lot on Facebook, but when you do, it's just... Ugh. Or well, maybe you do see it a lot on Facebook. I don't know. I don't much go outside my own page, or my friends. Pictures, or... Uh, motiv demotivational posters is what I call them, but because they look like those old demotivational posters, there, there, it'll be a picture and some text. Um, usually, it'll contain a very sad image, such as a child with a cleft lip or some other physical disability, or a dog or cat that has been beaten and bruised and has gone through a lot of shit. And the little comment box will say. Like and repost if you're against animal cruelty or child defects. Well, I guess you can't be really against something that's genetic. But you see my point. Those posts that go, like and repost if you agree with this, that this is bad. Look, I'm not advocating animal abuse. And I'm not saying that people with physical or mental disabilities are any less human or any less deserving of our time than another person who doesn't. Um, it's very unfortunate that people have been in those situations, certain animals have been in those situations. But I don't care. And I know that, sound, that makes me sound like an asshole, but I really don't fucking care. Who the fuck is going to say no... To, who's going to say, yeah, I'm totally for animal cruelty, or yeah, I'm so glad that that kid has a cleft lip, or a pet or something, or another limb? Who's going to be the, that douchebag? Well, I mean, there's probably plenty of douchebags out there who would, but aren't going to be public about it. So when you post something that says, like a repost if you're against something that's obviously bad, you are forcing others to weigh and spend more time on your post than they really should be about... Do I want to be the guy who just... Do I want to say... No, let me rephrase it. Do I want to be the guy who doesn't share it and then looks like an asshole? Or do I want to be the guy who does share it and still looks like an asshole? You make us look like an asshole regardless. 
So if you do that, I understand raising awareness for something that genuinely needs to be raised awareness from. But animal abuse and people with physical, men physical or mental disorders, no matter what they are, that's not a topic that needs to be shoved in our face. Which is, so there are some topics that do need to be shoved in our face. But animal cruelty being bad is kind of a no-brainer. People born with physical and mental disabilities, kind of a no-brainer that that sucks. So don't be that guy. Don't be that person. And if you are, the, not the person with the mental disability or physical disability, I mean, like, the person who posts those kind of posts. If you're going to be that person, you might as well just kill yourself now. And I mean, I know that I don't advocate suicide, but, uh, you need to stop. Just whatever you're doing, stop it. Because it's offensive. To me and to everyone else. And no one's going to say shit because they don't want to look like an asshole. However, I'm already an asshole and I've accepted the fact that I'm an asshole. So I don't care, so I'm going to say it. Number five! I forgot what number five was for a second. Number five, and I'm totally not stalling, I swear, are pictures that, and this is again on the religion thing, so I don't want to offend anyone. Disclaimer, I'm not bashing anyone's religion. My personal beliefs are not trying to be shown here, and if you believe that I've offended you in any way, please leave a comment below stating how much of a dumb dad, dumb dad, a dumb dad, a dumbass I am, and, you know, educate me. But be reasonable at it. Don't just be like, well, you know, God is the one true God, or Allah is the one true God, and there's nothing else. Like, I don't want to hear that. I want you to be, be, how can I say this without sounding offensive? Be appropriate. Be civil. I know, big task to ask from YouTubers and people on the internet in general. Okay, so, number five is those people who post, or rather, that's just the post in general. The post of, it'll say something along the lines of, usually it's, it's God or Satan, but this can vary. And I've seen variations with Justin Bieber and Tupac and Biggie Smalls, and then if you ignore you, you, Justin Bieber, you chose best. Blah, blah, blah. You chose Justin Bieber or something, and I hate those too. That's that's a whole other subject. But what I'm trying to get at is those posts that say, like for God, ignore for Satan, or like for band I like, and dislike for Justin Bieber, or like for such and such, and dislike for such and such. Ignore, or like for this, like for that, or ignore for something bad. Or something quite distasteful in the common perception of everybody. These posts annoy me to no end, and it's very similar to the other one I just did, of why it annoys me. If I, cho if I say like or share something like that, I'm going to look like an asshole because I feel like everyone needs to know my opinion. Well, I never said I wasn't a hypocrite, but you see my point. If... I ignore it, I get the somewhat bad, and then you, then all my friends feel like I'm ignoring them when they post stupid shit, and I do try to ignore stupid shit, then again, I post stupid shit, so, you know, pot calling the kettle black. Regardless of the fact, I fucking hate those with a passion, because there's more than just the one variety, there's multiple varieties, and when I'm trying to find something funny or something meaningful, or anything on Facebook, if I just want to, like, see what people have posted, I don't want to have to scroll through 30 fucking pictures of like for, like for Satan, dislike for God, ignore for Dustin Bieber. I don't need to sit through that shit, and I'm pretty sure you don't want to sit through that shit. Like, if one of your friends did it, you wouldn't want to sit through that, now would you? So, that's another problem I have. Number six. I think this is number six. Yeah, number six. Facebook games. Now, I don't have this problem anymore. Or at least it's not as much as I used to. But back, uh, a couple, like about a year ago, actually. No, not even that. Like half a year ago. Oh, Facebook gaming. Ugh. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, and how could you not? But Facebook's, Facebook's? All of them. All the Facebooks. Facebook has many user, not user created, because that would be ridiculous, I'm in my basement and I've started a company, created video games, and some are very successful. Like Farmville, Plants vs. Zombies, Cityville, shit like that. You're starting to notice a pattern with a lot of vi villages and plants. Anyway, so 
a lot of the Facebook games um, have a microtransaction system, which is they give you a lot of something that's really nice to start you off. However, you get you don't know how to save it because of you're going to need to use it in order to get certain things. So by the time you've used it all, you're like, well, shit, I have a million things that I want to finish in this game. Better go to the to the store to get some more. Well, I don't I don't want to spend money on this game. Well, I know what I can do, and they'll give you an alternative. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to send my friends requests to join me in this game so I can get a small amount of resource. Now, I have my own personal gripe with microtransactions in and of themselves, which I'm not going to get into this, but the basis of it is I fucking hate the idea of microtransactions, especially in free-to-play games, because if I'm throwing money at a free-to-play game, then it isn't free-to-play. It's free to start off, but not to play and finish. So Facebook says, okay, you can pay to get a resource, or you can bug your friends. And what your friends will do, or at least what I do, and what I'm pretty sure everyone else does, what your friends do is ignore that fucking request and block that game from sending anymore. However, it still does. Now, I don't know if that's because my Facebook was glitched for the longest time. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's because, you know, it's just the way Facebook is. Or way the way that game is designed. Regardless of the fact, I don't want your game requests. If I'm not already playing the game, which you will see, it'll post on your wall that you're playing the game, that you, or at least that you played it once, if I've never played it, and I still, at this moment in time, do not wish to play it, what in your goddamn right mind thinks you, makes you think that I'm going to take time out of my day to play a shitty Facebook game so you can get a resource, so that way that I can be in your situation and then have to bug somebody else? Or bug you, rather, and you not follow through on it either, because you're one of those people. I fucking hate Facebook games, and I don't think they need to be there. I understand they're pe for, you know, some people enjoy them. Some, you know, elderly folks, some kids, some, some adults. Some people love those fucking games. And, yeah, I can see why. Not, not too much, but I, I can see a slight appeal for some people. So, I understand that it's entertaining for some. For me, however, it's fucking annoying, and I wish Facebook would stop entirely. Number seven. Number seven, um, I don't know how to describe other than just people being stupid. But they are those posts that are lists. Now, if you don't know what I'm referring to, um, well then, I'll inform you. But if you do know what I'm referring to, you understand how much these suck. And you've been a part of one, or you've posted one at one point in time. These are things that said, if I was tied up or unconscious on the floor, what would you do? One, save me. Two, untie me. Three, fuck me. Four, cuddles. Five, wake me up. Or something like that. Or it's something like, repost this if you are brave. You'll know who your true friends are. If you, if they don't, if you don't, you'll die tomorrow. And that's kind of an offshoot of a chain letter. I understand that. A chain post, if you will. So, that's that's a whole thing in it of itself, but those posts that it's like like and repost if you'd fuck me, or like and repost if you think this, you know, if if I'm pretty today, or one if you think I'm pretty, two if you think I'm not, or one uh, for something, two for another, three for another, and so on and so forth. Those lists that make you that give you a multiple choice, a multiple choice list. If Say I were to partake in this. Now, I very rare, 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 I very rarely ever participate in these bullshit things, but when I do, which is fucking rare, when I do, I like to add my own spin on it and add an answer, or rather an option, that is not already in the question of it in and of itself, or options given. And that is usually fuck off and die, or off is the general direction I wish I wish you would fuck. Which I wish you would fuck. Why was that hard to say for me? Anyway, my point is, no one likes those lists, and most people just scroll past them because we've seen them all before. We know what you're doing, and it's attention. It's attention grabbing. That's all it is. Stop trying to be an attention whore. If you were interesting, we'd pay attention. 
I know, I'm a hypocrite. Shut up. Anyway. Um, lastly, I'm not going to do all 10 because we're running, I'm going to run out of time here. I'm already at like 20 minutes and something seconds. So, I'm going to cut it short at 8. The very last thing I hate on Facebook, and this is a big one, and this is goes for actually the entire internet. YouTube comment section, Facebook, pretty much everywhere. Improper grammar. Now I understand some people want to get a message out quickly and they're not bothering to check. Or some people are just raised in a... Uh, what's in the less offensive way of saying it? A non-optimal environment for education and or reten retentiveness... Is that even a word? Ability to perceive and understand proper grammar as used in the English language or other. So people will type something or write something with letters gone, with words misspelled, most most of the time unintentionally. And then there's the motherfuckers who do it intentionally. Like, they purposely spell shit wrong. And you were being a fucking asshole by meowing while I'm trying to do her video. Yeah, I love you too. You're a fucking asshole. I love you. Yeah. I know, it's bullshit too. I agree. 100%, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Twilight. Anyways, my point is... There are people who do it purposely. Really, Twilight? I love you, but you're being an asshole. I'm trying to record! How would you like if I just walked into your fucking litter box and was like, Hi, how you doing? It would be fucking weird, wouldn't it? Right. Anyway. What I'm trying to get at is if you're one of those people who purposely does it, for literally no reason, you just... Couldn't be bothered to type the entire word out, or you purposely just wanted to be ghetto that time that you wrote it. I have a message for you before I end the video. I want you to be sent to the f deepest fathoms of hell. And what fucking toilet? And once you arrive, once you arrive in the deepest fuck you, in the deepest fathoms of hell, just remember, while Satan is burning your balls or whatever deity you believe in. Why your balls are roasting on an open fire? I want you to know that you've not only pissed me off, you not only pissed your friends off, and you've not only pissed all of Facebook off, but you made yourself look stupider in the process. Congratulations, you don't know how to fucking spell. Fucking Twilight! Grr! Anyway, I will see all you lovely bastards later. Till next time. Fucking Twilight! Shut up! I love you, but shut up! And eh, fuck you too. Oh, fuck you!